Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights, Shadows of Undrantide. And when we last left off, it's Barry Coleman, everybody! Look at how shiny his shirt is! I had to reduce this to lower graphic settings purely so this could actually record. It's a pain in the arse in that regard. Right, let's see what items we have. Leather armor. Why am I not wearing this? Sounds a bit silly, really. And what's in this, um, a journal, focus crystals, gold pieces, a ring, and a holy symbol. I really don't need the commoner's tunic anymore. I really, really don't. We'll equip this magic ring. We'll also equip this hammer. And we'll check the journal out. Barry is one of a select few students to Master Drogon famous dwarven adventurer who has retired to the remote village of Hilltop in the region of Faerun known as the Silver Marshes to live out the remainder of his years in relative quiet as he passes on his knowledge to the next generation. Much of Barry's personal belongings can be found in the footlocker in his bed, which we already found, including the magical ring of Mistra, which Drogon has forged each of his students. Its range is limited to a mere mile or so, but the ring allows its bearer to teleport to Drogon's side at will, or whenever badly injured it does so automatically. A useful device for training young students, even though the ring has its limitations. The main one being that it requires special focus crystals to power each use, voluntary or no. Drogon once showed Barry how to make more focus crystals using a collection of gemstones and a special machine within his personal laboratory upstairs. Barry has been Drogon's student the longest and is nearing his graduation. He's like 60 now, 32. Maestro will... Once that day comes, the Ring of Maestro will no longer protect him from the dangers and adventures he will face. Who knows? Perhaps that day will come sooner than anyone suspects. Dun dun dun! Pretty much, uh, if you've watched the introduction video, you will know there are kobolds involved in all this jibber jab. Well, if, unless you don't know what a kobold is, in which case, there are weird reptile monsters. Let's. Let's deal with our spells. We have three level one spells and three cantrips. We want two cure light wounds and a magic uh, shield of faith right now. And to rest, you just click the rest button. And Barry sits down and does his little. Uh, 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 and he just heals himself. And that's pretty much how that works. There are special keys here that we will use to bind to, to uh, spells. Mainly, we just want Cure Light Wound and Shield of Faith attached to our spells. We're not going to use F10, because F10 is what I use to record, and the worst thing we want to happen is that uh, that could all go horribly wrong. Defensive casting is fine. I suppose I could equip my shield. I mean, for now it'll do. Look at it, it's a pathetic little skimpy wooden shield of silly. Right. That said, we control using a left mouse button and direct using that. We can pause at any time to, to cast any abilities. Things happen in initiative uh, order, but tend not to be paused. I don't tend to set it up for, for pausing in rounds in Neverwinter Nights. Usually not needed. So let's go. People. Plot. Talking. Here we go. Aha, you're here. Tell me, surely you have heard how our dear Misha fared in her last test. Meet Xanos. The smug half orc rogue. I have had enough of your jibe, Xanos. You would have done no better. Meet Misha, the slightly naive woman paladin. These two don't like each other. I wonder why. On the contrary, dear lady, I tend to do exactly what Master Drogon asks me to do. Hmm. If he says to rescue the goblin child, then I rescue the goblin child. It is not so difficult. It is not Russian half orc rogue. Hmm. I somehow doubt Master Drogon would ask you to rescue anything that he didn't expect you to rob first. Good point. And why are you eating pieces of string, Donna? But seriously, why? <laughs> you are the aspiring thief amongst us, little Dorna. Not I. Oh. So if she's the rogue, what are you? I don't know. But a goblin is an evil creature, child or no. How can I be expected to lend it aid? It was not a fair test of my ability. Oh great, this is a, a lawful stupid paladin we've got here. I will rescue the child from the burning building. Why? Because children are evil! Also, let me show you how people talk in Neverwinter Nights. You see our little heads are bobbing? 
That is talking. So you would leave a child to die, Misha? What kind of paladin are you? You are not a paladin, Barry. I would not expect you to understand. A creature of evil deserves no mercy from the righteous. Oh, and of course the child could not be raised differently, could it? I'm starting to sound like Watto from the Phantom Menace, eh? This is when somebody says, it was voiced by him from the Phantom Menace. And I'll be like, oh? It could always be an evil creature. That is not, this is not about you, Xanos. And besides, you have human blood within you to redeem you from your orcish heritage. You humans are all the same. Sometimes I wonder just how redeeming my human blood really is. Plah. Perhaps there is a lesson to learn in Master Drogon's test that you have not thought of yet, Misha. Maybe he was trying to teach you to, that paladins are merciful as well as righteous. <sighs> you shame me with your wisdom, Barry. Of course you are correct. It is no wonder that Master Drogon holds you in such high regard. Blah! Who cares how the dwarf regards him? I came here to learn what I can from him, and that's all. <laughs> I respect Master Drogon. He is learned man and great wizard. If such bootlicking makes one graduate faster, then I question the worth of Master Drogon's little school. Perhaps it is the school that questions your worth, half-orc. Mm. For a paladin, you have quite a mouth on you, little girl. Barry, I heard Master Drogon saying that your final tests would be coming very soon. Do you know what you, that you are Do you think you are ready for it? I... Uh, I don't know. I will see when the time comes. A reasonable answer. You're more patient than I would be in your shoes. Yeah, I bet that little Drogon will take away Barry's ring for the final test. Ha ha! No teleporting about for you! But Master Drogon gave us the rings to keep us safe. They've kept us all from being killed during our training. Especially me. When I'm not rescuing children, I'm fighting dragons. And what better way to test if you are ready to leave the nest, eh? What do you think of that, Barry? Ready to lose your ring? <laughs> If Master Drogon believes it necessary, yes. And if Master Drogon tells you to hop about on one foot, would you do that too? Ha <laughs> ha. Xanos is weak of constitution and constantly in need of rescuing by the ring. That's why he values it so highly, I think. Shut up, little dwarf. I notice you've no lack of focus crystals to power up your precious ring. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. Do you know what your final test will be, Barry? Has the Master Drogon said anything to you? Well, it's probably going to be baking a cake, and uh, or it could be a really long and laborious quest that I will need to undertake very shortly, for no discernible reason. <laughs> I expect that must... I... No, he hasn't. I have no idea what my final test will be. I cannot wait until Master Drogon gives me my final test. Oh, I wish I was in your shoes. No, you don't. My shoes are terrible. For once I agree with the little girl. I came to Master Drogon to learn how to be an adventurer. I wish to adventure. Good point. True. I wish something exciting would happen here at Hilltop. Wow! That is the worst thing you could possibly ever say. Wow, I wish that the plot would catch up and screw everything up in Hilltop. Any money, I click end dialogue here and uh, something horrible happens. Oh look! Something horrible! <laughs> Told you! Well, you do that. I'm, I'm gonna look around and steal stuff. Practice sword. Ugh. Ugh. How good is that? Minus two to hit? Ugh, thing's horrible. Xanos, is yours open? Uh oh. Well, I've been slowed. Obviously being a thief doesn't pay. Ugh. I wonder where Barry Coleman is! I'm on my way. Could go downstairs, but uh, oh, sorry. Let's go downstairs. I need stuff to happen anyway. Let's go. Oh look, combat! Boom! 
That's Bigby's crushing hand. It's a very moments ago. That's a very tough spell. And that's a global from Oh! Oh! So this guy's pretty tough by the looks of it. That's so Okay, what could possibly beat you? How about the MacGuffin Kobold? That's a MacGuffin Kobold, all right. Oh look, we all teleported magically, except for Barry. Always late to the party that I am. Always late. Never on time. Let's help! Oh, he's a wizard! Oh, he's a wizard. That's very... He's probably a sorcerer, actually. No, he's probably a wizard as a half-orc. Uh, negatives to charisma and that. Yeah, you get him without Ray of Frost. Oh, dear. I could talk to you. But you're going to initiate conversation anyway. Which is annoying, because this conversation is long. That's it? The little beasts are all gone? Yep. Then I shall see to Drogon now. Okay. I can only imagine what they did to make him proud. Well, they stabbed him in the back. I can't I don't I can't really see that because I don't have MacGuffin powers. Yeah. Oh, we, um... That's it. The little oh. beasts are... I broke the conversation. Poison? Poison, yes. I cannot tell the time, but I should be able to counter it with my magic. Hold on, good dwarf. I'll be down. Bet this doesn't work. Nothing. Funny, that. The poison resists? Yep. How can that be? Uh. This is no simple toxin these kobolds have used here. No crud. How could they have acquired such a poison, I wonder? And why did they come all this way just to strike at Master Dragon? There must be an answer. Thank you for your help, but who are you? Find it a little more than suspicious that someone, some helpful stranger would show up just as these creatures attack, eh? How rude. This lady aids us without asking for anything in return. Would you repay her with suspicion? Rude or not, I'd like an answer as well. You have remarkable timing, my lady. Of course you are suspicious. I would be as well, were I in your shoes. Lots of shoes in this episode. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Alea Winspear. I've been following the tracks of these kobolds for almost two days. I thought it would be odd that they would come. They would range so far from their home caves in the Nether Mountains. I would never imagine they would do something like this, however. As soon as I realized they were headed for Hilltop, I came as quickly as I could. But too late. Shouldn't we... Why were you following them to begin with? I was just practicing passing this area, to be perfectly honest. It's my responsibility to take note of strange occurrences that investigate them. What do you mean it's your responsibility? I'm a harper, as is Drogon. Do you know what a harper is? Aren't the harpers some kind of secret society that fights evil? Well, you're pretty secret, Alea. You just mentioned the fact that you were a harper. Indeed, you are well informed. Doing so has left the harpers with many enemies, however. Maybe one of these behind the attack. I believe. I can shed some light on that. No, Dwarf Sean Connery! You must preserve your manliness and strength! Master Drogan! Master Drogan! You're conscious! Damn it! Drogan, you live! Mistra be praised! It was the artifact they were. The MacGuffins? They were stolen! All oh no, four MacGuffins? I can do nothing! I thought as much. How could anyone have found out who even had them? This is terrible news. What artifacts are you talking about? When Drogon retired to Hilltop, the Harpers entrusted four dangerous artifacts to his care. The MacGuffins. We thought this area remote enough that they would be safe. It's never safe, though. This is a role-playing game. They were. I do not know how they were destroyed. Well, I was in the pub one day and I got a bit drunk and... We'll have to find out. These artifacts are too powerful and dangerous to be left alone. I'll help in whatever way I can. It's good to hear. I have to stay here and tend to Drogon's poison. The help I can offer is limited until he gets better. Barry, my eldest student, it is up to you. 
It is vital that you bring these I find these items and bring them back. Uh, you can count on me, Master Drogon. I won't fail you. Such courage, dear boy. You make me proud. This will be your final test. I know you are ready. So much, so much relies on you, you know. I know you will not let me down. I can, cannot. Drogon? He's passed out from the pain. It's up to you then, Barry, as he said. You must recover these artifacts before they can be put to use. Forget it, I've got better things to do. I will do my best. Do you have any advice? If you need assistance, think of asking Dorna or Xanos to accompany you. The others can remain here and help you guard the school. That would be me. I wish I could go with you, Barry. You are so lucky. I'm not even looking at you as I speak. He will be luckier still to have the great Xanos by his side. I'm sort of looking at you. Get over yourselves already. Xanos. Barry will pick whoever he picks, and it'll probably be someone he can stand. Yes, yes, as I said, me! Also bound to be some equipment you can find. Blah, 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 find healing potions. And the artifacts? Yeah, go to Hilltop and follow the trail of the kobolds. And I should get going, because I need to end this video. What's your remains? Gold coins. Brilliant. So when we come back, folks, I will pick my first companion, and we will get to exploring more of this game and finding out what the actual artifacts are. So, until then folks, until then, I will catch you later. When we are back, we are back, and when we are back, we probably won't pick the paladin. So until then folks, until then, I'll catch you later. See you then.